Yeah, I was always in my brother's shadow. But you know what? I was like 12 years old. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I realized that skating, man, I skated with like these 30 year old superstars of skating. Like Lenny from Ride On and Tom Flick. And, you know, Tom Flick's brother was like quarterback for the Cleveland Browns or something. I mean, these guys were gifted, dude. They could do like 23 60s in a row. And like Tony Alva and Jay Adams, man, we saw pictures of these dudes doing grinds and pools. And we wanted to do it too, man. You know, man, it's like, I didn't idolize these dudes. I just like, I thought, man, we're rad here in, in Washington, man. Let's, we can do some grinds. And you know, we had some dudes that could do some like, you know, Jay Adams, they say Jay Adams did the first hand plan air, but man, there's this dude up here in Washington, his name's, you know, I'm, I'm giving this dude props. His name's Tom Hansen, you know, he was in this punk rock band called Farts. And this dude could do like full on Jay Adams airs on like vert ramps and he'd grab in front of his foot and it was so stylish and like, you know, I don't like to idolize people and shit, but this dude, man, I really looked up to him because he was like superstar skating. His, his mom was like Swedish and they went to visit uh, Norway on vacation and shit. And this dude was so hardcore into skating, man. I mean, Tom Hansen, he kind of looked like Tom Petty and shit. But, but, but whatever. Dude set his skateboard up in his bedroom, and when he came back from vacation in Norway, he just ran into his room and jumped on his board and did a wheelie. And, like, you know, it's like, what happened was the 90s got too hyped, man. It was like, you couldn't hitchhike anymore. And, man, I hitchhiked a lot in the 80s. I went all over the country. I went to, you know, San Francisco. And back in the hard days when nobody wanted to hook you up, you know, Jake was there and all those fucking Californians. But they didn't want to show me to the pools, man. I ended up in Skid Row, man. Punk rock, dude. Tenderloin. Nobody wanted to show me to the pools and shit. But you know what? I went to China Banks, and I did the downhills. And I don't need everybody else, dude. We need us and ourselves, dude. I'm telling you. I'm high now, dude. But I'm telling you, dude, when I do the six-foot method air and shit, I don't care if I'm 50, dude. Lemmy does it, man. You know, buddy, dude, man, I'm not talking shit, dude. I'm looking at this camera and I'm telling you, dude, this shit is for real. If you want to break your fucking ass and twist your ankles and fucking have some chicks just break your heart, dude, you join the skate army. Right on, Q. And the Marines. Yeah. We're the Marines, dude. We're even further than them. Like I said, dude, the Q man, if I live to be 50, dude, I'm going to go 100 miles when I'm 50. 50 miles on a skateboard, dude. Just go, man. Get on the board and ride for five hours straight. Take a break every hour and get a soda pop. And Don't smoke even a say bowl. a comment about that. But just get do the it, last man. This ain't no listen. bullshit, dude. Go 50 miles on a skateboard and then come to me and say you're going to beat me for 100 bucks, dude. Because I'll challenge anybody in the United States right now. I got a $100 bill that says I can fucking run you into the ground. Skateboarding is always there for you. If your girlfriend left you, you feel suicidal, go out and bust a big air, man. Make yourself feel good. Do a Smith grind where you fucking barely make it and you breathe a sigh of relief that you didn't fucking get a badass motherfucking hipper. I mean, this shit is for real, dude. You snowboard fucking flunky junkies trying to come up on our scene. You better get a life, dude. This ain't no airbag landing. <laughs> Don't try to imitate our moves. Come up with your own fucking shit, dude. Cause... Country's here. Smiley's here. These are the fucking kings of skateboarding, dude. You fucking walk a mile in their shoes and you tell me you're fucking pro, dude. Yeah, sugar bear. That's right, man. Because I've seen these dudes and they pay their dues, dude. And this shit ain't no candy ass no shit. No shit, dude. you. Fucking give props to what's going down, dude. I hope that shit records sound. Cause these dudes are rad, dude. It does. One of our oh, bros got injured so tonight. Hit, and you really think we left him there in enemy lines? No, dude, we pulled him out and we helped him out because we've been there, dude, and this shit's for real, dude. It ain't no airbag landing, no snowboarding, fucking, you got the bindings on your feet, shit, dude. This shit's for real, dude. You have your head together, man. Fuck that camera shit, but you guys know what it is, man. I don't need to preach to you guys. This you shit. don't need to fucking. I broke both my legs and shit. This shit's scary, dude. dude. You, it was, you, 
got it going, dude. This shit's scary, dude. You're the fucking dude. You're up there, man. I told you. You're you know what, dude? Here. I don't want to quit, dude. dude I met fucking... Tony Alva, and that guy was my hero when I was a kid. Yeah, but Alva's and a like, guy, dude. But he ripped, dude. And we ripped. With he Alva. came to this bowl, dude. Did we not rip? Team members, yes. Jesse Newhouse, Did we and this black guy Stevie Dread. And like Alva was there, and he's like, dude, I never rolled the nude. But Alva ripped, dude. The more we discuss this stuff. We can understand it better and we can combat this evil that's happening to our country. Don't fucking sell out to the Negatroids, these demonic fucking devil worshippers, whatever the fuck they are. They're not gonna get our soul, dude. I'm serious. I don't even care if this shit's on camera, man. This is a battle, dude. And I'm telling you. Doesn't matter. The I love matter, you, dude. buddy. The camera doesn't matter, dude, because I say this shit every day, man. We're gonna lead 10,000 skateboarders through the streets. And you get in our way, and we'll be goose stepping. Don't pull that Nazi trick by us, dude. Because, dude, they're not going to keep us separate. That's why, Charno, you need to come around more often. Keep circling the nation. Keep spreading the word, the skate gospel, that we can do better. We don't have to worry about our past mistakes.